And I saw a question come in on one of the forums I follow that uh, was asking, hey, when I select on a numeric display, I get the choice down here of back color, border style, and different, different graphical settings that I don't get on your numeric input. And it's really frustrating me because I need to change how it looks. And so a lot of people don't realize this because this is different than a lot of other software packages. But with Factory Talk VSC and RSV32, its predecessor, you set these uh, those features on those numeric input and string inputs under display settings. OK, and that's under the behavior tab. OK, and so what this does is this gives you a common look and feel for any of the input fields on that display or screen. Now, you can use this button here set as default to make that the default for all the new displays or screens in your project. But in any case, let's go ahead and change the fill here. I'm going to change it to, we'll just do something obnoxious, so like green. And I'll click on OK. You can see they both changed. You have a numeric input here and a string input here. So that's done on the display settings, not over here in the properties. And so let me go ahead and run this now. When Rockwell borrowed my uh, my filler animation, they actually re-tagged all the tags to a PLC. So we'll get some errors. We'll see that ghosted there. But uh, regardless of that, you'll see here now each of these fields have a green look. And one of the things here is you can see the selected is yellow. I changed that as well. And uh, you get that kind of common look and feel for all the input values across your entire display. And that makes sense to me because, you know, let's say I put in an invalid number here, minus five. I made this tags minimum zero. When I hit enter, you can see it went red, right? Now, if for this numeric input, it went red and for another in numeric input, it went orange. You know, it may be confusing to the operator to see two different colors for an invalid input, right? The same thing for which one I have selected, right? So if I have, let me uh, set this back to a value here. You can see that updated pretty quick because I had to change the display settings. By default, it comes at a one second update. And I tell my students this both in my Panel V Plus course and my VSC course. One second is way too slow. You're going to have the operators breaking your displays if you leave it at one second. You got to ramp it up. I typically will not have any uh, graphic displays in my project that update slower than a quarter second. Otherwise, if they're not seeing a one second you know, turnaround time when they press a button, then they start hitting things multiple times. So that's been my experience. But I think in this case, I have this at 50 milliseconds. But uh, that aside here, you can see that by having the highlight color change to yellow, it gives me this common look and feel throughout the entire screen. So I know which field I'm selected on, you know, and, and uh, all of these numeric and string inputs share that setting. So to me, it makes sense. I do agree that it is kind of limiting and there's ways to get around that by just changing the back color to whatever you want. Like if you want it just to blend in, you can make it gray. Like I have this gray uh, object here behind it. So um, you can do that too. But in any case, I did want to answer the question that came in where somebody was saying, hey, when I select a numeric or string display, I can change some of its graphic properties here, like its back color and whatnot. But when I do it for inputs, I can't. And so that's the answer to that question. And with that, that's the end of this tech tip. And I want to wish you all a very safe, happy, and healthy day. And until next time, my friends, peace.